going to go on to some NBA action. Kobe Bryant sticking up for the little man. <laughs> sticking up for Russell Westbrook and his 54 points he scored on Sunday night. Uh, Took 43 shots to get there. But Kobe says, hey, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Kobe sticking up <laughs> for the little man. What a shocker that MVP Kobe would say himself, that. Russell Westbrook, well, he's not MVP yet. The OG ball <laughs> hog and Kobe Bryant's like, that's 43 shots. That's not enough. You need to well, take I, 80 I, shots Yeah, exactly. You want to score 80 points like I do? You need to take <laughs> a lot of shots. What do you think about Kobe sticking up for Russell Westbrook? Again, it doesn't surprise me because, I mean, I'm not the biggest Kobe supporter. Mm -hmm. Newsflash. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Kobe's kind of made a career. He's a good player. Kobe's a good player. <laughs> yeah. But so is Westbrook. But he's not known for being the, a very un, you know, unselfish player. Mm -hmm. A little selfish. He likes to shoot the ball. He likes to score. And we talked about this with Westbrook this season. He's having a great individual season. But would you make him the MVP? Would you say this guy is the most valuable player to your team? It has happened in the past where players have done that like on, on bad teams. But he's not making his team any better. Mm -hmm. He's just padding his own stats. Great season for him, but what about like you know what he's doing for the team? That's why I look at guys like Steph Curry, mm -hmm. you know even James Harden to an extent. I mean he's helping the Rockets. Yeah, a Kyrie, bit more. exactly. LeBron, yeah. Was, so, Russell, yeah. you know he's trying. Poor guy gets triple doubles. A lot of us. But see that's selfish. the thing. Taking forty three shots just tells me he's all about padding those stats. He is about padding. That's what the he's stats. doing. Yeah. Poor Russell. He's trying. Let's uh, but look at LeBron. Triple yeah. double last night. Took some time off. I don't, the Cavs don't really need to win the rest of their games. I mean they're going to get that second seed no matter what, just because of how many uh, games yeah. are up. Um, but LeBron James had a great game last night as well. He's had a good season, just kind of quiet. Yeah. He's still in the MVP race, just that he doesn't need to do as much with Kyrie and Kevin Love on his team. No, absolutely. I mean, this, uh, the thing, he, he's 30 now, so he mm -hmm. wants to play a little bit smarter. He doesn't want to work, you know, focus. He doesn't want to be the guy anymore. He doesn't have to be the guy anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because he's got Kevin Love. He's got a young Kyrie Irving who's one of my favorite players in the league right now. So taking the time off, especially what is, what's it, like one more game left now mm -hmm. at this point. So might as well stay healthy for the playoffs because that's an entirely different season. Right. Then we're going to go talk about a little bit of uh, Michael's favorite team, the Chicago Bulls. More Chicago teams. Ah, Bulls. But Derrick Rose has been back, scored 22 points last night. The uh, Chicago Bulls secured their uh, first round home court advantage in the playoffs, which is, is good for them. Yeah. 22 points for Mr. Rose. Are you just, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know if Michael is just cringing every time Derrick Rose <laughs> is on the court. I mean, are you just like, every, every time, time you see them playing, you're just like, period, oh, I'm getting nervous. Get hurt. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And unfortunately, that's like, that's the life of a Bulls fan mm -hmm. right now, right? It's like every single time you think there's some hope, Derrick Rose goes and gets hurt. You know, yeah. so last night we had our, our actual starting lineup out there. We had Jimmy Butler. We had mm -hmm. Rose out there. We had no, we had everything. It was looking good. If these guys can stay healthy, you know what I mean? If Rose can bounce back from this injury and play the way that we know he's capable of playing mm -hmm. and everybody else is able to do that, I mean, this could be an entirely different Bulls team going into the postseason. Like, mm -hmm. and maybe a scary a team. Like, they could be a threat. Yeah. That's going to be, I mean, I don't know. The Bulls, it just, Derrick Rose, I, I, it's hard for me to trust him. I hope he's better because the, the league is better when he's in it. We want to see Matt. We want to see Derrick Rose versus Kyrie Irving. There you go. That's a good matchup in the East. Be sure to watch it. Let us know what you think. Derrick Rose, how's he doing? Hashtag 3MW over here at the stream.tv.